just like to introduce to you one of the very first patients of Z Institute, uh, who's been very, I think, very helpful and because of her experiences with us. I'd like to introduce to you, uh, Miss Chanel. Hello. Hi. Ang gagawin natin ay Chanel would be for you to discuss and share your experiences with what you did with us nine years ago. Uh, Chanel, uh, what made you decide to do the procedure uh, nine years ago? Uh, ever since I was a kid, I'm so flat-chested. So, parang may insecure talaga ako sa mga big-chested girls. So, that's why I decided to have a test. How did you prepare mentally for this uh, procedure? Mentally prepared. Because that's most of the time that's what patient would be asking the doctor and on the part of the doctor to ask this particular patient to the patient because they should be very helpful in something First of all, you should know what you really want. Kung gusto mo talaga yung procedure tapos. And don't overthink. Don't overthink of the surgery. And thank you, Doc, because you you made me feel at ease before my operation. Yeah, I felt confident and mentally prepared. Uh, I think I like that that statement. Don't over think of the uh-huh. procedure because some of the patients that I rejected because of this, they have uh, overblown expectations. So that's a very good point that you raise. Since you have a very long experience with this procedure, that's basically nine years of having those implants within you. Uh, did it change something in your life? Uh, well, it really made a big impact in my life. Um, now my insecurities are gone and I felt more confident, you know, especially in wearing bikinis. Before, I know I can't wear two-piece bikinis because I'm so flat-chested <laughs> and now I can wear anything I want. That's why basically that's the answer of most of my patients. Yan ang madalas sabot. Especially patients that are flat-chested, patients who have uh, pregnancies before na nawawala yung fullness na upper pole. And these are the reasons why uh, they want this surgery done. And that's uh, a good reiteration of uh, the particular experiences of a uh, patient. Yes. Curious. Why did you choose C among others? First of all, yung nasearch ko yung yung Z Institute sa internet tapos tiningin ako yung mga pictures nila. So, ganda naman, ganda siya. Kaya I made a appointment to you to the clinic tapos yung pagpunta ko dito para nakita ko talaga na yung clinic is so clean, well lit and after our consultation, doc, talagang, I felt this is it. This is my doctor. Okay, I think, uh, I think that's what made it more important. I'm not saying we have to go to me, but then we really have to choose your doctor. That would be the most important thing to consider when you're going to undergo a certain procedure, not just personal patient. What is your experience with the clinic after the procedure? For all this year that you've been seeing guys for follow-up. Uh, can I ask you how is your experience with that? My so we can in, also improve in terms of how we uh, deal with proceeding patients. Well, my experience with Z is para I felt home, at home in your clinic because your staff is so friendly and nice and approachable silang lahat. I think that's very important to know because we need to improve here if ever there's a need to improve on a certain aspect in the operation of our clinic. Thank you. Thank you, Chanel. Are you happy with the result of what I did with you nine years ago? Yes, definitely, Doc. Because it's better than I expected. Talagang natural siyang tingnan, malambot, saka talagang naboost talaga yung confidence ko, Doc. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, that's what I tell Initially, they're quite uh, concerned about the firmness, but then I tell them in time with the regular massage, it will soften, uh, it will become more natural. One of the reasons why it will, I did 
put in an implant that's suitable to your frame because some patient would like a bigger implant and it would make it more very unnatural. So choosing the right implant and as I've said, choosing an FDA approved implant would really help us achieve what the patient would want. Uh, thank you so much, Annette, for this. Uh, I would say not really an endorsement, but your reiteration of your experiences with us and your being happy with your results and experiences with the clinic. Thank you. Thank you. First question, Bob. Do you regret having breast augmentation or will you ever regret? I have absolutely no regret on having my breast augmentation surgery. And I, I think I have no... <laughs> I have absolutely no regrets on having my breast augmentation surgery. And I don't think I would regret anything about it because they say that breast implants are for lifetime. Now I have my two babies with me, BFF for life. My advice for, for people who want to have breast augmentation is research, 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 research. Research for the best doctor, research for the implant that you wanted, the size, and oh, that's it. Some of the challenges I faced before acting just after having a surgery. First, searching for the right doctor for you. Some of my friends kasi ano, yung nagahanap sila ng ng mura pero hindi naman maganda it's a no no talaga dapat pupunta ka talaga sa mga certified doctor na may right implant for you para mas safer sa ka you have you will have no regret on having the surgery on the second week after the operation you must massage the implant para maging soft medyo miski masakit dapat i-massage mo talaga siya para maging mas natural you feel and softer and rest 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 and huwag magpa-stress don't overthink eventually you will feel better dapat siguro alamin mo muna kung ano yung gusto mo kung ano gusto mo mangyari talagang yun assert yourself kung ito ba talaga ang gusto ko, gusto ko ba natural looking or big boobs na papabun talaga. Kaya dapat alam mo kung ano yung gusto mo para pag sinabi mo sa doctor mo na ito yung gusto ko do, para ma-explain din rin at maalaman niya kung ano yung dapat ko with And emotionally and financially prepare for it. <laughs> If you're planning to have breast augmentation surgery, You should research, research, research. Kung alam mo talaga sa sarili mo na yun talaga ang gusto mo, just do it. Go for it. Yun lang. I think number one would still be the surgeon itself. Okay? Uh, surgeon who's fully trained and had a lot of experiences would probably give the, the best result for a patient and the quality of the implant. Uh, definitely, I really go for high quality implants and should be FDA approved. Uh, with that, uh, probably the patient, not probably most often, the patient will have a very satisfying result. Again, uh, for you to have a good result, you have to be very in-depth in your consultation, checking all the nuances of the implant's chest, the breast, so that you can give a good assessment and a good advice to the patient. Now, most of the patients that would need breast augmentation is, would have lost in fullness in the upper pole. Because of that, you have to do some uh, good assessment of this problem and put in the right uh, amount of implant, the right volume of implant to the patient. But then, however, uh, my experience with Uh, Filipina patients is they want to have more projection and more volume than the usual compared to the Chinese 
to the Japanese, to the Koreans who don't want uh, a very big implant. Most Filipino patients would like to have more projection which will look good on dress or on swimwear. Segmentation is for me the number one aesthetic procedure being done worldwide. Okay. How do I go about this process? Number one, during consult, I explain everything to the patient. Uh, what do I explain to the patient? I do this under general anesthesia. And how long does it took me to do, how long does it take me to do this procedure? Normally, it would range from one hour to one and a half hour. Why the one and a half hour? Because sometimes some patients would be on the bleeder side, so it would take me longer to, work, to control the bleeders. Now, before we go to the process of doing this procedure, I request for laboratory exams, and especially now, I do request for a RT-PCR test at least two days before the surgery and have the patient be subjected to a uh, cardiopulmonary clearance by a cardiologist. Once these are done and once the patient is cleared to undergo the procedure, then we go to the surgery itself. So what do I do during the actual surgery? Uh, again, I, I do again an initial uh, consult, initial consultation that's like what I do before the patient scheduled for surgery, re reiterating the uh, important points of this procedure. And the patient will be brought to the, to the operating room, I do my markings, and the patient is fully prepped before the patient lies down on the bed on the operating table. Uh, my preferred incision is the inframammary. Why is this so? Because with the inframammary approach, there would be less chance of you going through the breast tissue, which could be, can give you a problem. Okay? There are three approaches, the inframammary or the, the fold incision, the areola, per areola, which is the incision in the areola, half moon um, beneath, in, it's in the, junction between the areola and the skin and the axillary. Uh, why do I prefer the inframammary? Because I can have a direct access, see what the, the field where I'm going to work on and so that I can control the best the, the bleeders. And if ever the patient would have a very good fold, this would be less visible. It would range from 3.5 to 5 centimeter. So for small implants, probably I can just do the 3.5 centimeter. And for bigger implants, I go for the 5 centimeter uh, incision. And in most patients, this will heal perfectly and it would just be a fine line. But then there would be some patients that are prone to developing keloids. So these are the patients that I need to explain, expound more on the possibility of scars so because when you do check on them you'll see keloids in the in the arm and you can see keloids in the chest where there's a previous uh, acne so patients would still go with the procedure because they'll have the good shaping breast that they wanted in spite of the scar that will develop later. so for me the inframammary incision is the best and i put definitely my implant beneath the muscle why is this so? Because I want the added protection from the muscle and chances of developing some problems later is minimal with this kind of approach. Why? Uh, one of the possibilities of breast augmentation is the development of capsule. The capsule contraction is hardening of the capsule that forms around the implant. Putting it beneath the muscle minimizes this. So for me, it, this would give the, the best looking natural result. 